Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Coding Lifestyle for you. This is the part 2. If you have not watched part 1, the link is given in the description. We have completed the GY part. If I run this code, run main, you can see we created this GY in the previous video. Now let's see the functionality of these buttons. Right now if I am clicking on these buttons, nothing is happening. Okay, so let's provide some functionality to these buttons. Let's provide some command to these buttons. If you see here, I have created these buttons, right? So what I will do here, I will simply pass a command. Okay, and I will pass a command. And this command I need to define. Okay, this is a function name that I am passing to this command keyword argument. So whenever you will click any button, this function will be called okay so out of all these buttons that we created if you will click any of them this command function will be called and whatever code you will write inside that function that code will be executed okay so what i will do i will create a command function just here so here i will be using lambda keyword to create a function okay so lambda this is a keyword here so what this keyword basically helps in it helps to create one line function okay so we have to use a syntax of this lambda so after the lambda keyword we have to write some arguments okay and then colon and then the expression like this so this is the syntax of this lambda keyword okay this is how you create function using lambda x equals to button colon select x so what i have done here lambda is a keyword after that we write the argument okay and then colon and then the expression so this is my expression okay so what will happen whenever you will click any of the button this command function will be called and so when this command function will be called for the first button okay when the loop will run for the first time in the x variable we will get this button okay apostrophe button okay and this x variable is getting passed to this another function which is select okay so this select function will be called every time you will click on any of the buttons for example if i press backspace button okay so once i click on the backspace the x value will have backspace button and that backspace button will be sent to this select function as an argument whenever you will press any button the select function will be called and that button will be passed as a value to this function let's define the select function i will define this function just after these import lines so i will write here def select and here I will receive the value. So whenever you will press any button out of these buttons, this command function will be called. And here inside this command, I have created a function. It is a one line function with the help of lambda keyword. Here what is happening? The X is storing this button value. So suppose for instance, if this caps is inside this button variable, Okay, so x will have caps. Okay, and that x value will be passed to this select function caps and that x value will now be passed inside this value. So this value will store caps. Okay, let's print it and see the what this value variable is storing. Okay, let's run this code. So when I will press this caps, you will see what this value is printing on the console. It is printing caps here okay I hope you are able to understand this in the same way if I will press enter key the enter key command will be called and the same command will be called and button variable will hold this enter text that button text will be stored inside this X variable and that X variable will be passed to this select function okay and where I have defined the select function at the top 
and x value is a storing enter text that enter text will be passed to this value variable and that value variable will be printed here let's see if i press enter key you can see you can see we we are getting this enter so this value variable is simply storing the text of each button that you will press if you will press space key this space text will be stored inside this value variable okay now we will simply check if value variable is equals to equals to space text i want to insert some space inside my text area okay so i will write text area dot insert method so here we need to pass that we are inserting okay so insert and what i want to insert i want i want to insert a space like this now i will check if the user has pressed enter key okay so I, since i have to write more than one condition so i will use elif keyword and here i will check if this value variable is storing enter as a text in that case i will simply insert inside my text area insert okay what i will insert i will insert new line character for going to a new line like this so whenever you will press the enter key inside the text area you will see a new line after that i will check whether the user has pressed tab key so if the user has pressed the tab key this value variable will store tab as a text and in that case i will insert tab spaces inside my text area insert i will insert tab spaces so backslash t now what if i press del key in that case what should happen everything should be deleted from the text area so for that i will write another condition lf value equals to del okay and in that case i want everything should be deleted from the text area so i will write text area dot delete method and from where to where from 1.0 till end so if you want everything to be deleted from the text area you need to write from 1.0 till end in the parenthesis okay now let's run and see if i run this code and press this enter key you can see the cursor is not visible now okay so what i will do i will set focus on the text area after i click any of the keys okay so i will write here text area dot focus set so that our cursor is continuously blinking at that text area okay let's run this code now and if i press this enter key you can see we are get going to a new line okay if i press this tab we'll get tab spaces okay and if i write something from my keyboard and then click on this del button everything will be deleted from this text area now let's see what will happen if i will click on this backspace right now nothing is happening okay because i have not added the functionality of this back let's see so i will check if the value is back okay because this is the text only that i have written here inside inside this list okay so i will check if you have pressed the backspace key this condition will become true and in that case what i want firstly i will get everything which is written on the text area so i will use text area object dot get method and here i need to mention from where to where so from 1.0 from the start till end i want everything that is written on the text area and i will store that into a variable and that variable i'm taking i okay so this i is a variable where everything will be stored that you will type on the text area let's see what this i variable will print so print i okay if i press the backspace key you will be able to see on the console what it is printing if i type anything from my keyboard because right now these keys will not work okay so if i press this backspace you can see what my console is giving me as an output you can see we are getting that same text here okay this is a string
so what i want from this string i want to delete only the last character whenever i press the backspace key so we will simply slice this string one more thing this get method returns the string and also at the end it adds a new line character suppose if it is returning my name okay so it will add a new line character also like this with the name okay so that the cursor will go to a new line here so i want to remove these two characters whenever i press the backspace key so here i will do string slicing so i is the variable which is storing the string and in square brackets i can mention from where to where i want my string okay like if i write like this so it will simply delete the last two characters so colon minus 2 represents that this string will simply slice last two characters and will return only the remaining string okay so what i will do i will store that remaining string in some variable new text like this and then i will simply insert this new text onto my text area so i will write text area dot insert and i will insert new text okay let's see if i have typed from keyboard fezan okay let's press this backspace so you can see uh, we are getting what we expected okay but this earlier text is also there so what i want firstly i should delete this text then only i should get the sliced text right so before inserting the new text if there is anything already present on the text area so i will simply delete that so from 1.0 till end i will simply delete everything and then i will do the insertion of the new text okay, let's see if i type my name here and click on this box so you can see it is looking like that last character is getting deleted now let's see how this shift will work so when you will press this shift key you will see some buttons getting changed to special characters let's see the functionality i will apply another condition here elif value equals to equals to so what is the left shift key so left shift key is with this forward arrow right shift and then the forward arrow so i will copy this and i will paste here make sure you don't make mistake while comparison write the correct spelling what is written here inside this list buttons list i will create a list here in place of this one i will add exclamation mark in place of this two i will add at the rate the place of this three i will add hash and so on okay so wherever you want the changes just do the changes and create a list everything else will remain same like this bags will have no change this del will have no change and after that we will again create the buttons in the same way and these one two will be replaced with the special characters that we will be adding right so let's create a list here so i have copied the list from my original project and i will be pasting here so control v you can see i have replaced all the numbers with the special characters and some other keys also with some other text okay like this and now we will be creating the buttons again the same way we created in the previous video so when you will press the shift key the left shift key all the buttons which were previously created will be overlapped with these buttons or these text so what i, I will do where i have created these buttons before i will simply copy the code from there and i will simply paste it okay because we will be creating the same buttons again in the same way only some buttons will be replaced with the special characters i will use the same logic i will simply copy this code from here and i will paste here right so control v here i need to define these two variables var row and var column so just after this list i will define that and those will be same only var row will be two because i want to start all my buttons from row two and then the column var column will be zero okay
one more thing this buttons list will be changed to this left shift buttons list otherwise these same buttons will be added again okay so what i will do i will use a loop for button in left shift buttons like this now let's run and see so when i press this shift key you can see everywhere the changes happen so when i press this shift key i want all these special characters to be replaced with the text that was previously written here okay one two three and so on let's see so just after this elif condition we will apply another elif condition for the next shift key so elif value equals to equals to let's copy the text from the list so the text here is this one right up arrow and then shift key so you can simply copy this up arrow from the web browser just search for this symbol up arrow and you can copy from there let's paste this value here so whenever you will press the right shift key this code should be executed and what i want here everything to be reset back for that i have this list so whenever i press the right shift key these text will be written on the buttons so again i will copy the same code for creating the buttons so i will paste the code here and i will define these two variables so where row here also where row will be 2 because the button should start from row 2 and then the column where column will be 0 right let's see let's run this code if i press this shift key we are getting all these special characters now if i press this shift key you can see we are getting all the text back everything is reset now now let's see the functionality of this caps button so whenever i'll click this caps button what i want these lowercase alphabets to be changed to uppercase alphabets and everything else should remain same okay so no changes there so we will create a list where i will only change these small letter alphabets to capital letter alphabets and everything else will remain same so i will apply another condition here elif value equals to equals to caps right and in this case we need to have a list where the small letters should be replaced with the capital letters so i have copied this list from my original project you guys can pause this video and create this list we will be creating buttons again and this time we will use this list to add the text on the buttons right again the same thing we will simply copy the text from here Control c and now let's paste it here just after creating this list here and now i need to change this buttons list to caps buttons list caps buttons and also i need to declare these two variables var row and var column so just after this list i will add var row equals to 2 because i want my buttons to start from row 2 and then var column equals to 0 because i want my buttons to start from column 0 and i hope you understood this logic if you have not understood this just watch the previous video now let's run this code and see the lowercase alphabets will be changed to uppercase when i will press this caps here you can see we are getting the same output now what i want this capital caps so when i press this capital caps button okay it should change to small letters now since i want everything back okay so i will use this list again i will simply create buttons with these texts on it so i will copy this code once more from here Control c and let's paste it here let's apply a condition here first of all elif value equals to equals to capital caps button so when you press the capital caps button you want all the uppercase alphabets to be changed back to lowercase alphabets so i will simply paste here the same code Control v and here also i need to declare these two variables var row and var column so i'll write var row so i will write var row equals to 2 and var column equals to 0 let's run this so when i press this caps 
you are able to see the capital letters when i press this capital caps you are able to see the lower case alphabets right but right now you can see when i'm pressing all these alphabets these are not getting typed on my text area okay so this is very very easy let's see now after so many elif conditions we will simply go to the else part and in the else part what i want whatever text is written on that particular button that text should be inserted on my text area right so i will simply write text area dot insert and i will simply insert the value if on the button one is written that one will be inserted on my text area if g h j k is written that text will be inserted onto my text area so i will simply insert whatever value that you press let's run and see so in the else part when you press one you are getting one if you press g h j k everything is working fine okay only the text is getting added on your text area you can see all these keys are working fine here if you press backs you will be able to delete the last character if you press enter you will be able to move to a new line if you press tab you will be able to get tab spaces right if you press this caps lock key you will be able to get capital alphabets if you press this shift key you will be getting all these special characters if you press this shift key you can get all the numbers back here right and then this del button to delete everything from here so that's it thank you guys i hope you have learned something do like and share this video see you in the next project